to Pip Explores. This week I'm breaking down some very common caving terminology. So when you first become a caver, you hear all these crazy words being thrown around. Like caver, spelunker, speleothem. You know, there's a ton of them. So this week, I'm going to be breaking down some of those common words so that you know what they mean and you can talk the talk. So the big one in the caving community is caver versus spelunker. Now it depends on where you're from, but kind of pick up the cues. In Appalachia, this is how these words are defined. A caver is what we all aspire to be. So this is a responsible person who's going underground and following all the rules and safety requirements. A spelunker is a person who doesn't do that. But keep in mind that in different parts of the world, these words could be backwards, but they are just used to differentiate between someone who knows what they're doing and someone who maybe doesn't yet know what they're doing. The next word in our guidebook is convention. Now there are many conventions, all caving related, that have been all over the United States and probably the world. I don't know, I live in America. But convention typically means a gathering of cavers. It's like a long weekend where we cave and party and mingle and there are usually booths set up. And there's like a bunch of fun contests. If you're ever invited to go to a convention, the answer is yes. Tailgater is a word that I did an entire video on, so check it out. But the easiest way to say it, it's the person at the back of your group keeping everyone together. Grotto is a word that is used to describe a sect of the National Speleological Society, or the NSS. Now that's the overarching caving body that manages a lot of caves and cavers in the United States. So a grotto is a localized chapter of that organization. Breakdown is not what happens when your boyfriend breaks up with you, but instead is rock that has fallen from the ceiling that you're probably climbing over. It's usually large chunks of jagged rock in a big pile that's not very stable. Vertical and horizontal caves are kind of what they sound like. A vertical cave usually has a pit at the entrance and then cave at the bottom and you'll need to know how to use vertical equipment to do it. Where a horizontal cave has an entrance that you can enter on foot, exit on foot, and go through without any technical gear. Survey is what cavers call mapping a cave. This is also a term used by cartographers, but let's face it, not all of us know what that is. So survey is the process of mapping a cave. Now we're gonna do some rapid fire formations. Stalactites stick to the ceiling, stalagmites stick to the ground, columns are the two connected. Flowstones created when water flows over it, gypsum flowers are super pretty. Cave pearls are teeny tiny bits of cave. And cave bacon looks like what it is. Soda straws are teeny tiny formations that are on the ceiling that look like straws. And halactites are these crazy wild formations that are formed by blowing air. So that was a lot of information in a very short amount of time, but I hope it helped you converse with the cavers in your life a little bit easier. If you guys have heard any other crazy caving terms that you're not quite sure of, let me know in the comments below and I'll help you decode it. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Pip Explores. Don't forget to check out our new website and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.